The township of Lethem is on course to experience transformation like never before. This follows the commissioning of the town's first asphalt road network valued at $473 million. On this InfoHub Extended, we take a look at the construction of the thoroughfare from dirt road to an asphaltic concrete structure. Are you ready to embark on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America? where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape. From the wetlands and savannas to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and rich in rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So are you ready for a new, awe-inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. The massive road project is being carried out by the Ministry of Public Infrastructure and will benefit thousands living in the township and visitors. Called the Barak Retreat Corridor, the road was considered safe and durable by Region 9 engineer Raphael Lewis. The four-lane modern asphalted concrete road, which commenced in 2017, was constructed by J.R. Ranch and passes through the main commercial zone of Lethem that connects the Linden Lethem, Deep South Rupununi, and Brazil. The state-of-the-art thoroughfare includes underground drainage that sends excess water into the Tabachinga Creek, as well as two roundabouts. Plans are in the pipeline to furnish it with lights, sidewalks, and to beautify its environs with flowering plants. Prior to the transformational development, the roads were in deplorable conditions. The region's regional executive officer, Carl Parker, described the condition of the road as dusty and slushy whenever it rained. However, Today, the narrative has changed for not only the residents of Lethem, but for everyone who utilizes the road. Well, what we are seeing here today is an attempt to change the, the, the landscape of the Rupununi. And it's no longer dust and slush, but a land where we have proper and well-constructed roads sponsored by the government of Guyana. The road forms part of the government's national plan for development of capital towns. It is also part of the government's vision of bridging the gap between the coast and the hinterland. It was during the feature address of the commissioning ceremony of the road that Prime Minister the Honourable Moses Nagamutu made it clear that the execution of the project was only possible due to the transformational leadership of the government that has led to improving access to and from the hinterland. It takes vision, it takes plan, and we can use Letem as an example of where we have this vision. President David Granger is the man with the plan. The first thing he did was to transform this village into a town. And once you have become a capital, Letem has become a capital of Rupununi, then it requires certain status. It has to have certain facilities. And part of those facilities would be new roads, with the focus on continuous development for Region 9, the Prime Minister said the township will play a pivotal role. Markets will be open for you, and more persons are going to be identifying Letem as a 
connecting point as the hub that will connect us with the rest of South America. Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, the Honorable Sidney Ali Cock, reiterated that while the government would have declared new capital towns, these municipalities must be given the due respect with the necessary infrastructural and social development in place. We have to have these infrastructures in place because we are asking the communities to develop their agricultural produces, tourism products, and other activities. And for them to be successful, there must be easy access to those communities. Let them, is going to be the town, uh, well, not the town, but the town that is going to shine, that is going to develop. Capitalizing on other successful projects within the region, Minister of Natural Resources, the Honorable Raphael Trotman, told residents of the township that their upliftment has always been on the front burner for the coalition. Some governments dream, some governments talk, some governments dream, talk, plan, and then take action. The APNU AFC government thought of taking care of this road. They dreamt of how they were going to do it. They started planning. And we've gotten it done. Congratulations. <laughs> Those of us who've been coming to this region for a number of years, indeed, as Mr. Parker said, it's, you know it is a place of dust. Today you have a road, you have a radio station, and you have a, two roundabouts. Give yourselves a round of applause. Minister of Public Infrastructure, the Honorable David Patterson, under whose leadership the project has become a reality, unveiled future plans for Lethem. This road is a part of an overall development program for Lethem. The AP and UAFC government sees Lethem as our mecca in the south. This is, ladies and gentlemen, only the very first piece of this problem. Going on, Internal roads, when I say internal roads, the remainder of the roads will continue in 2020 and beyond. The Ministry of Public Infrastructure will continue to build asphaltic concrete roads in Lethem 1 to 1.5 kilometers per year until every street in Lethem is fully paved. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will be inclusive of drainage. And this is not only for Lethem, for every new town we will continue annually until they look and feel like real, true towns. Infohub ventured into the township to get a first-hand account from some of the locals about the new element that has enhanced their livelihoods. Junior Springer, who grew up in the township, said he is appreciative of the promise fulfilled by the government. Since I know myself, a little boy growing up, the state, this road, you know, it, it all, you know, the, the, and the dust and stuff, the way it went before, you know, it is a, it is a very, very much big relief. For the resident of Lethem, especially the, um, the shop owners that got a business alongside the road and stuff, right? When you go in the shop, the stores, them all, everything just red. And now, you know, you see a whole total different, what am I say, the whole atmosphere change. You ain't seen the redness out there, the shop's clean. Springer, who is also a motorcyclist, explained that he would now be spending far less money on wear and tear. It saved our motor cars, whereas back in the days, with all the holes and stuff, right? You got to change in your knuckles steady. You got to change in bushings and stuff. So with this, is, uh, I think everyone, I would say on behalf of everyone, they are very pleased. And we need to see a lot more like this. We need to see Lethem, the whole of Lethem. Rachel Joseph shared her fascination with the transformation of the township compared to when she attended school just a few years ago. Well, when I was going to school, it, it was at a very worse situation. When the rain falls, the place gets 
a lot of red dust. But I think we should school your socks get dirty. Right? And the new the road is is very good for us. I mean for people in the Rupanuni. Especially with people who have cars and vehicles and so it and with motorcycles it's much more better. It's just that uh, you gotta get used to the traffic now. However, aside from providing better access, the construction of the road has inspired Joseph to pursue her dreams of becoming a civil engineer. And it's very nice because what is, um, what is important for me about this road then, I like it because I want to do civil engineering in, as soon as I can. And infrastructure, it amazed me a lot. Leandra Leo said that with the new road, there is easier access. I mean, we can ha go somewhere faster than before it. We have better access, I could say, because I remember when you had to like go home, you had to go through, like, you know, the road wasn't really good. You had to ride to take your time. You know you had to look out because it was quite dangerous. But now, as you can see, the road is, I mean, it's way better than before, and it, it makes things much easier. Dexter Roseney moved from Georgetown to work and live in Lethem over 15 years ago. When he arrived, the roads were awful and made life hard for many. However, difficulty using the road is now a thing of the past. It is a good thing for the Region 9 for knowing that when I came here, it hardly had proper road and hardly had lights. You know, and now we could see that we have new roads, new investors and new ones coming into the Region 9. I first came as a porter from Georgetown and the road was very bad, rainy season also for a porter, working truck and also it was very hard for a lot of Amerindians to go back to the Savannah. In Letem Rung, this simple road, it takes a time to walk around and your skin nasty up your shoes and so forth, you know. Sometimes vehicles spill upon you with water or maybe the slush on the road. So it's a very good thing to know from then to now it is an upgradement within the Region 9 road, as I would say. More money in my pocket are the words of Luxton Anthony, who said that with the new road, he would be spending less at the mechanic shop. Well, of course, the road is better now than before. And... From a person that got a vehicle, you know, the road before, every minute they got running in the workshop and them kind of things. So it's very good now that the road paved. The four-lane road, which is an upgrade from its previous two-lane structure, has had numerous interventions, inclusive of a comprehensive drainage system, median and slipper drains. Energy-efficient solar street lighting will soon be an added component. According to the Chief of Works within the Public Infrastructure Ministry, Jeffrey Vaughan, during the time the project kicked off in 2017, there was the installation of approximately two kilometers of underground drains and sub-base and base preparation. Those works represented Phase 1 and the investment was relatively $188 million. For 2018, there was the construction of sub-base and base layer with laterite from the roundabout to Tabachinga Bridge. That cost nearly $77 million. For the final year of the project in 2019, an investment of approximately $209 million led to the paving of the 1.8-kilometer road network with asphalt. This project in Lethem did not occur in isolation. It is part of a broader vision to link the road to the Linden Lethem Highway. The international firm of Mott McDonald is completing the feasibility studies. Phase 1 of that highway will stretch from Linden to Mabura over 125 kilometers. That phase will see the construction of a bridge at the Karabukhari crossing. In the preliminary estimates, approximately $25 billion, equivalent to $120 million US dollars for the building of the road, and $6.2 billion, equivalent to $30 million US dollars for the Karabukhari bridge. The government has secured funding for this massive infrastructural undertaking. The coalition government has also noted favorable responses from regional and international bodies on the funding for phases 2 and 3 of the Linden to Lethem Road. It is projected that the construction works will run concurrently after phase 1 would have ended. The result is a paved road from Linden to Lethem. This has been InfoHub Extended. Thanks for watching. Do join us again. Goodbye.